Hey everybody, my name is Moogie TV, and today I'm going to be showing you how you could stream on Twitch and TikTok Live at the same time. All right, so we're going to jump right into it. There's going to be two things you're going to need to download. I'll have both items in the description. Links are in the description. First link is going to be here to OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. If you guys already use OBS, you're going to need a second OBS to run your TikTok if you guys run stream labs or anything else to stream you could use obs as your secondary streaming platform so for me i am using obs mainly to stream on twitch and you're going to need a second obs to stream on tiktok in order to do that click the link it's going to take you to obsproject.com and here you're going to go to the download tab right here and then instead of clicking download installer or any of these you're going to go ahead and download the zip file right there once it downloads, go ahead and download it to your downloads folder or wherever you want it to show up. Once that's done, let's move on to the second link. The second link is going to be for OBS Virtual Cam. You're going to go ahead and just click here on Go to Download. And you're going to go ahead and save this to anywhere where you could easily find it. Next, once you have your OBS downloaded, for me, it's right here. You're gonna go ahead and right click and extract the files. Uh, for me, I'll just go ahead and click desktop so I know where they are. I'll hit okay. And then I'm gonna say yes. For me, I already have it installed and downloaded, so I'm not gonna extract this. But essentially what you're gonna have is you're gonna have this bin file. And within this bin file, you will find the 64-bit, it's the only folder in there. You'll double click this. And then if you scroll down, you'll go ahead and see uh, OBS uh, recorder or broadcaster. For me, I already renamed it. So it should have uh, the OBS symbol. Uh, what I like to do is go ahead and create a shortcut and then drag and drop that here to my desktop. And then I renamed it TikTok OBS because I already have OBS Studio, so I know the difference. Okay, next thing, what you're gonna do is you're gonna download and unpack the virtual cam installer. Just double click that, let it run, and it will save and install on its own. Next, go ahead and open your primary OBS Studios. Okay, next step here is as you can see, I have my display capture on and I have my camera that you see right here. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go into display capture, right click it, click on filters, and you'll see filters and effect filters right here. If you don't see anything there, you're gonna go ahead and hit the plus sign and then you're gonna select virtual cam. So once you have virtual cam set up, you're gonna be able to change the target camera. So for me, I have my target camera set up as three. Again, this is for my display capture. Just remember what you save it as. For me, I'm gonna save it as OBS camera three and then go ahead and click start. You're gonna to have to do this every time you set up OBS for TikTok. It's just something you gotta do. So every time you set it up, just be sure you hit start. Don't forget to do that. Next, I'm gonna do the same thing for my camera. So find your video capture device. Mine's right here. Go ahead and right click, click on filter. And again, you're gonna click on effect filters, not audio video filters, but effect filters. You're gonna hit the plus sign and add virtual cam for me. It's right here. And I just set this up as OBS camera, just the first one. Go ahead and hit start. Once you got that, you could go ahead and click close and you can minimize your Twitch OBS. Okay, so next you're gonna go ahead and open your TikTok OBS. Go ahead and double click it. And as you can see, my portrait right now is the vertical nine by 16 or 16 by nine, I forget which one, I think nine by 16. Okay, how are you gonna change that? Is you're gonna go into settings, you're gonna click on video, and then for your base canvas resolution, you're gonna make it 1080 by 1920. It might be 1920 by 1080, but you want it vertical, kind of in the TikTok format. So you're gonna make it a nine by 16 ratio and just make it 1080 by 1920. I like to scale 
or rescale my output to 720p just because I don't want to be streaming in 1080. It's going to be a lot for a single PC to handle streaming both to TikTok and Twitch. So I do have my output scaled resolution to 720 by 1280, which is also still a 9 by 16 ratio. A uh, downscale filter, I keep it on by cubic, 16 samples. And then for FPS, uh, normally on Twitch, I do stream 60 frames per second. But on TikTok, I stream at 30 and I haven't really noticed any difference. I still get a bunch of people coming in. They're able to view the stream. So it's better if you're on a single PC just because if you're playing your game, you're streaming on Twitch and on TikTok, it'd be a lot for one PC to handle. So I keep this on 30. Once you have that, go ahead and click apply, but don't hit OK. We're going to go ahead and move to output. So go ahead and click on the streaming tab. If you don't see all of this, you're going to change your output mode from simple to advanced. Once you're in advanced, go ahead and select your encoder. For most people, you're going to choose NVIDIA NVENC. Um, if you have a Super Beast computer or you're streaming on a dual PC setup, you could pick X264. But for mostly everyone, you're going to be selecting the NVIDIA NVENC new. All right, once you have that, go ahead and change your rate control to CBR and then your bit rate to 2500 keyframe interval. Keep it on zero preset quality profile high look ahead unchecked cycle visual tuning checked GPU zero unless you have multiple GPUs and then max B frames on two. That's going to be your setting for streaming on TikTok. Go ahead and hit apply but don't hit OK. We're going to move on to the final tab. Audio should pretty much stay the same. Be sure you have your desktop audio and your mic audio set to your proper microphone and headset or output device just because on the new OBS, you won't have this selected by default. Default, It'll be on disabled or default. So go ahead and be sure you choose the proper audio settings here. And then uh, last but not least, the stream. We will get back to that. Let's go ahead and hit OK and get back to our canvas and uh, to set it up. OK, so now you have a vertical uh, canvas. You're going to want to put uh, the two displays that we captured. So in order to add that, you're going to hit the plus sign. And what's interesting is it utilizes video capture devices rather than your typical display capture with a video capture. They're both going to be video capture devices. So go ahead and click video capture device. For me, I already have it selected here uh, and it should show up like this. Uh, by default, it might still pick up your uh, default webcam. So you're going to click the device option and click on what you chose your virtual cam uh, setting. So for me, my camera, I chose OBS camera without any numbers. And you, it should pop up like this. You're going to go ahead and hit OK, and it'll show up right here. If this size is all messed up, just resize it. I like to size it kind of like this. So, you know, the top third of it is my, my camera. And then the bottom third or two thirds is my gameplay. So in order to add your gameplay, you're going to hit the plus sign again. Click on video capture device, and it's going to look blank like this. Um, go ahead and choose whatever device you chose for um, your display capture. For me, I chose OBS Camera 2 and then hit OK. And it should show up like this. And last but not least, I don't have any gameplay on my second capture, so that's why it's grayed out. In order to check it, you could go back in here. So my display should be capturing something, but it's not. Let's double check that filter. Go back to virtual cam. It's on OBS 3. It's working. Let's go back. Check this out. Oh, so this was on OBS camera 2. So as you can see, when I change this to camera 3, now it's capturing the same thing. My main OBS is capturing. Hit OK. And this is how it's going to look. Obviously, if this isn't scaled to your liking, go ahead and rescale it. Make sure it's uh, centered and filling up the screen. You could also right click, hit transform, and go down to center horizontally, and then everything will be centered.
And then once you have those, go ahead and lock the sources so you can't mess it up. The last thing I like to add is some text. I'll go ahead and show you what I typed here. I wrote Twitch, Moogie TV, so people know where to find you. You are streaming on TikTok, but TikTok is a great place to get more exposure and share and get more people from TikTok or Facebook or wherever you're streaming from to funnel into other areas like your Twitch. So I like to write Twitch and then write my Twitch handle, Moogie TV. And then I like to put it right on my face cam so people know where to find me. All right, the last step here, we're gonna go ahead and get our stream set up. Go ahead and hit setting. You're gonna click on the stream tab. And then from here, by default, it should be on Twitch or something. Go ahead and click on custom. And then for your server and your stream key, I have a previous video. Link is right here on how to get your stream key so you could stream to TikTok from OBS or from your PC. You're gonna go ahead and pull your server and your stream key. Be sure you don't share the stream key with anybody. You're gonna paste those in, hit apply, hit okay, and then you're ready to go. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, be sure you leave a thumbs up. Be sure you subscribe to the channel for more information like this, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.